Hi folks and welcome back. So today we're playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 and this one's going to be a little bit different. We're playing historical, we're playing as the USA, but we're starting in 1941. Well, okay, okay, that's not quite accurate because you can't start in 1941 in the game. But what we're doing is we're going to play the USA as if we don't expect to go to war until we actually go to war and are forced into it, which I expect will be 1940, 1941, something like that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the trouble with the United States is, uh, even when you play historically, you know what's coming, because we all have hindsight, right? So we know that Japan is going to attack, it's going to go after um, Pearl Harbor, it's going to invade the Philippines. So if we start in 1936, we can massively build our military to avoid all that happening. And we don't really want to do that, because it means it's going to be far too easy to, to knock out Japan, to stop them invading and just, just grind them to a halt. So I want to see what it feels like to actually respond to being attacked and building up the army from that point on. It's going to be a little bit of work, but it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun and it's going to create quite a different game. So here we are, we're in the 1939 start scenario. The game has done some stuff for us already. Uh, we have some points to spend, so I mean, it's saved us a lot of political power. So let's go for some lobbying efforts. We'll pay the farm subsidies. Special measures. Sometimes members of Congress require a more direct personal incentive to realize what is best for their bank account. Okay, that sounds like um, a little bit of bribery, which is probably a bad idea. We're going to grant statehood to Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. I have no idea if that's a great thing to do at all, but it sounds like a good thing. And we'll get some senators to come and support us because this, this is unique to America in the game, this support in the, the Senate and the House. And you, you need support in your favor to do many acts within the game. So we're going to have to respond to that. We've got some points to spend developing mines and resources here, which is going to be amazing because we're going to build up our economy. In fact, let's go and do that now. So into construction, infrastructure, the resources that America has available are incredible. Look at the steel, the steel everywhere. It's, it's, and the oil, steel and oil is basically what every American house is made of. I'm convinced of it. Hang on. So we're going to max out all that oil production. It'll be a load of aluminium. Uh, and other resources, not so much, surprisingly. But uh, we're going to get all that built first. So that's going to be great. Looks like we haven't got a lot of civilian factories. But don't forget, I've just assigned a load to developing mines and stuff. So um, I think, yes, it uses quite a lot. So once that's done, we'll have quite a lot of civilian factories to build. We don't have a lot of military factories at the start of the game, but that's cool. We don't need a military. What do we need a military for? I mean, we're not part of Europe. We're not getting involved with that nonsense uh, again, uh, of whatever rumors are coming out of there. And Japan's assured us that they have no intention of uh, transgressing on our Pacific territory. So the military can uh, take a bit of a back seat while we get the economy going. And with that in mind, let's also get some industry going. So we're gonna have massive, massive resource development we're going to get that economy going right this is what we need and um well there's this new thing called radar which i think we'll we'll go for as well so that is most of the stuff modify the government do you know we, we maybe should have an army this uh, this dwight the eisenhower sounds like he knows what he's doing we'll put him in charge of the army and ernest king in nope we'll have william halsey jr in charge of the uh, navy uh, he specializes in naval aviation, which seems to be the thing now. So we'll go with that. And we do have an air chief who operates, who's night operations specialist. I think, because we're going to have a small air force, we don't need a big air force. We'll have a specialized, small, tiny little air force. We'll make it super safe so the air accidents will be reduced. We'll, we'll go with that, swap them out. And as for advisors, there's not really anything exciting in here at the moment until we've unlocked some other stuff. However... I did see a financial export, an expert who'll reduce the number of consumer goods factories, so we'll go with that. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to do for now. Apart from we'll maybe also... Arsenal of Democracy. If we're going to sell things around the world, I guess we could do that. But I think we'll go for an extra research slot at the moment. Um, you know, scientific development is the key to a stronger economy, I think. Come up with some new goods that we can sell and we will be sorted. Why are they there? We have a wing, wings of carrier aircraft in Virginia. Okay, let's, let's, let's get rid of those. We'll rebuild the Air Force. We're going to do all the things, all the cool things. And let's roll some time on now. 
whilst things move on. So we have we have points to modify the government, but nothing I really want to modify the government with just at the moment. I, we could put military high command in. The other river's blown. Oh, we're going to get a load of news reports. Um, yes, that's that's the thing. Uh, loads of reports because we're in August of 39. So I think it's catching up on the news events that have happened in the last few months of the game. Hungary's joined the Axis. Amphibious assault and amphibious naval speed. Oh, I like the look of that. We'll think about that later if we ever have a need for a war, of course, which I'm sure we won't. Sweden requests trade of foodstuffs for ball bearings. Yep, I'll take that. That's quite a nice thing that, uh, that Sweden gets in the Arms Against Tyranny DLC. Oh, by the way, I should point out, I have disabled the uh, By Blood Alone DLC for two reasons. One is that we get rid of that horrendous aircraft designer, which was no fun at all for me. Um, the reason being that what's the point of being able to design unique aircraft if you go for the same min-maxed stat design every single time? It's pointless. So I've, we've gone back to this which I much prefer. I think it looks much more in flavor with the game. We've got the names of the aircraft, the models of them, all matches up, and uh, it achieves the same purpose. So that's saving us a lot of trouble, but also, since I've put that By Blood Alone expansion in, Italy has been absolutely pants, and it's been overrun by the Allies in 40, 41. They've been invading across, it. well, 41 anyway, and Germany doesn't come to help them. So let's see if it works any differently with, uh, with that turned off. I sincerely hope it does. So how's my Navy looking? We've got, I'm grouping them all up in Boston for a grand Naval review so that we can see what we need. I'm sure there's gonna be like a load of old ships that we can mothball and save on some running costs there. Okay, so let's speed up time a little bit while things get into position. So let's have a look at the armies. I've just split the armies up into garrisons to start off with. We have the what I call the US Coast Guard, which is going to be kind of fun. Oh, the Pan A incident. American and British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front line in the war between Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked as an American vessel, the USS Pan A was hit by two bombs and sunk, with three American and one Italian citizen killed and others wounded. In a separate attack on HMS Ladybird, one British sailor was killed. And the Japanese mad? Both the American and British governments have issued strong protests. The incident highlights the increasing tension between the three foremost naval powers. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Oh, God, and Germany's gone to war with Poland? Well, uh, we would never have believed it. Naval treaties. The uh, Belgians. Is it Belgium? Who is it? The Chilean government. Okay, they were drawing from the naval treaties. And I think we demand compensation for the USS Panay. I absolutely do. Japan better better be paying that, otherwise it's war. Italy's abandoned the naval treaties. Everyone abandoning the naval treaty. Maybe we should abandon the naval treaties. I see. I don't see a response from uh, Japan yet. Right. So what we want to do with these guys? They saw reason. Okay. Just because there's all sorts of shenanigans going off on the U.S. coast, uh, what we're going to do is set the Coast Guard to literally just defend the US coastline. And there's not a lot facing that direction. There's a bit more facing here, but uh, this this will be fine. As we go up through North and South Carolina, Virginia, uh, what's this, Maryland, and um, I don't know where we are above there, actually. I get confused, but there's all the small states up here. Maine is that one. I know that's because I'm the northernmost one, but there's all the, all the what I think are the smaller ones anyway. Uh, where are I? So this needs, it needs 24 divisions for this, so that's, that's, that's fine. Let's give them a commander, someone quite lowly, who would be useful. Joseph Stilwell, I can't imagine him being used anywhere else. Russell Hartle, there we go, he's just the man to whip those Coast Guards into shape. So, what else is, is going on? Uh, the Navy should be pretty much gathering around Boston now. Still got a hundred ships. Oh, we've got some more produced. Excellent. Put them in there. And we will reassess what we're building and what we need, really. I've got some convoys in, under construction because uh, trade is going to be the key thing, I'm sure. But uh, we're producing a few old ship designs, too. The opposition suffers a defeat in the Senate. That's good news. Because what we do need is more support to be able to trigger all sorts of things. 
So we're doing a lobbying effort. We're paying farm subsidies. We now have a, um, a trade with Sweden. Radio propaganda would gain war support. I don't care for... Oh, stability is looking good. Okay, stability is looking really good. I was worried about that. Let's develop some more aluminium production because that's going to be useful. We can sell it. We can trade it away. Queen Maud of Norway has died. Oh, it's a shame. Shame that they still have a monarchy. They should see the light. Okay, so we've got some decent uh, infrastructure construction going on. Lots of civilian factories doing their thing. We can speed this up. Oh, we have dockyards free now. So all we're building now is one submarine, one carrier. It's a shame. I've never understood why we can't assign more dockyards to the production of a carrier and we can do it with submarines and destroyers. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see a reason for that. House hearings into presidential misconduct. What? A minor scandal originating in the White House has started to gain momentum. Following weeks of media reports implying that a minor administrative official had been taking bribes in return for lucrative government contracts. Never. A witch hunt? How many times have we heard that term in the last four years? Turkey delivers an investment portfolio. Uh, let's have a look. I could invest in Turkey. If there's aid they need, then they shall have it. We could invest in Turkish state building. Uh, sure. Okay, why not? Overseas investments. We've got the points to spend. What's the situation now with our support, actually, for getting getting things done. It's, ooh, it's not good. The Senate's good, uh, but the House support is not. A small lobbying effect. Does this have the chance to go wrong? I think it has the chance to go wrong, and I think that's why we got, uh, we got done for a bribe there. You can see our trade routes. Right, come on, we're still, are we still trying to get ships? into Boston. Guys, if you're not in Boston, go to Boston. Reinforcing. Poland has capitulated already? Wow. Poland's gone. Germany's looking much bigger. Does that mean the UK has gone to war? It has. The UK and France, I'm guessing France, are at war with Germany. This is where it kicks off, folks. What about Italy? Did Italy get involved? Yep, Italy straight away got involved. They weren't, they didn't want to waste any time. They're making a, Italy's making a push for Alexandria there, North Africa. What is, oh, that's a naval, hang on, that's a naval map, just a minute. Italian East Africa. Hmm, I wonder how that's going to go. I, I'm curious to see, without the DLC there to, or the expansion to, to mess things up. Curious to see how that's going to go. So we need to decide what we're going to choose from this. Suspend the persecution. I don't think this is a good move. US, USSR, economic co I don't think we want to go down. I don't think we want to go down that side at all. Let's, let's leave that. We want to go down these. That's continuing the New Deal. Intervention in Europe. Intervention in Asia. War Department. Oh, that's that's always good. A Two Ocean Navy Act. We've got support to get that one through, actually. But we will lose. People will go into opposition if I I select it. So that's that's one downside. Escort fighters. Bonus for heavy fighter models. They could be very useful. A Selective Training Act. Uh, let's have a look. What's this? Add limited conscription. We don't need to worry about that just yet. Uh, destroyers for bases. Becomes owner and control of Bermuda, Newfoundland, Leeward Islands, Southern Bahamas, Jamaica, and Trinidad. That's if the US agree to that. Uh, if the UK agree to that. Wow, okay. I think my best bet initially is just say, let's become the arsenal of democracy. I think that's a, a wise choice to go down. We have research slot. Kingdom of Romania joins the Axis. That's that's not good. So, nice. We have heavy fighters. We have regular ones. We have... We could improve our regular fighters. And, yes, we can get the naval fighters as well. But, as I say, there's no desperate rush for that. 
what we should be doing is making sure our industry is up to speed. And as we're coming up to 1940, I've heard about this computer thing that's uh, has been developed in, over in the UK. Let's see if we can get a better one. The USSR occupies Eastern Poland. What are they playing at? Never mind. It's good to have an Atlantic Ocean between us and all this nonsense, isn't it? So, dockyards. We should be producing something. Let's have a proper look at this navy. Have they, they've gathered up for review. Excellent. Let's take a look. So, first off, let us get... Uh, let's, let's get all the submarines out of there and into... We've got 100 subs. Quite big. We've also got some early subs. So, so first job. Hang on. Let's, let's add them into there. Is that 65 early submarines? Really? Oh, wow. I mean, they're, they're huge. Um, I don't think we need 65 early submarines. I, I think they're kind of outdated. So I am just going to disband them. 13,000 manpower. And we actually have a load of decent 1936 submarines. So what we're going to do is select all those and we're going to upgrade them to the salmon class. I think the salmon class sounds nice. Let's do that. Let's go with that one. 13 days. The USS Perch. Let's let's upgrade those as well to the Yep, let's let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know what the salmon class looks like, but I like the sound of it. A leaping salmon. Any more? No? Cool. We've got a load of salmon class submarines coming up. Brilliant. So this is going to be our submarine fleet. That's a much more sensible number. Have we got anyone who could command it? Does anyone look like they're instantly a spotter? Not quite what I was looking for. Is there a submarine specialist on the left-hand side? There is not. Naval damage. Okay. What's that one? Cuts corners? <laughs> Uh, I like the sound of that. Convoy speed while retreating. Hmm, I don't know who to put in as a naval co as a as a commander here. Screening efficiency is quite good on that guy. A career officer, navy organisation, military high command carriers expert. Do you know this guy who cuts corners? I like the sound of him. I'm going to put him in. He's going to be my submarine commander. Oh, he could, he could make a good mine layer. Do I want mines? Yeah, I probably want mines. I might go mine destroyers this time. I always do mine subs. But for something different, I might just go mine destroyers. In which case... Yeah, let's, let's leave him out of there. And let's see. You can just move all these along and see what uh, stats they've got. He'll make a good destroyer leader, actually. But he'd also make... Well, he doesn't have the sea wolf thing, so we don't need him for that. Who else we've got in here? He's these these guys are more for big battleships and stuff with what they've got. A caustic personality. Has he really? Number of ships in the first contact minus twenty five percent. Wow. That's I. You don't want him in charge of anything. That sounds. That sounds too much of a penalty. What's Charles Cook Jr. He's got nothing. Okay. I don't don't think the US seems to have a naval expert, so that's quite quite all right. What we could do is move these guys down to where's this South Carolina and let's just set them on training. So the the first stage of the navy is under construction. Let's make a fleet with all the destroyers. 153 destroyers. Are we in the same situation where we've got early destroyers, by the way? 86 early destroyers. I mean, they're usable. They are usable. But, um... Maybe we'll sell them to someone. Uh, let's put new theatre. Let's just let's call these destroyers, and then I'll decide what, how I'm going to work this out. Decimetric radar. They were also destroyers, weren't they? No, we've got some early ones in there. Oh my word. 
So what does that leave us with? It leaves us with 35 decent ones. Okay, which we might use for the fleet as screen ships. Let's see what else we've got. We're going to have... We'll have a look at that radar in a minute, I think. Actually, we can, we can handle this from this side. So, give us... Actually, what are you? USS Ranger? Let's, let's improve you. You can be the Yorktown class. Let's upgrade that. So, we're going to have ships in upgrade. Brilliant. We'll come back to that in a minute. This is going to be interesting. I've got 118. Who did I say was going to be the destroyer leader? It was... Was it that guy? It was not. It must have been him. I feel like it must have been. It was. Okay, so I'm going to go destroy a leader. Torpedo hit chance, naval damage and visibility. Fleet protector. Lancer. Torpedo screen penetration. Um... It sounds like he'd be better off in a, in a fleet, really. Rather than wasting, being wasted on escorts. I do feel like, actually, I could put Ernest King in there. He could be my destroyer leader, couldn't he? The Cuts Corners guy was, was quite fun. Um, I haven't tried you, have I? What have you got? Lone Wolf and Concealment. Uh, he might have been the submarine dude. Lone Wolf, enemy fleet size, penalty. Do you know what? I don't think it matters a great deal. Let's let's go with that. Let's put him in. We have a destroyer's leader. That'll be fine. Okay. What are we going to pick to research next then? As we're working down there. We've got the radar. Let's go and build some of this fancy new radar. What can we do? We want to try this out up and down the coast. We'll do a few bits like this, look. The German Reich declared war on the Netherlands. They're really going for it, aren't they? And what about... Oh, I, maybe in Hawaii would be a good idea. German pressure towards the Benelux. It sounds like it's kicking off in Europe. Good job. We're not involved with that mess. Okay, let's, let's have a little bit of radar out here. Where is Hawaii? Is, is it there? It's, I only see one island. I don't. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There we go. German Reich declared war on Belgium. Oh my God! It's another. It's another great war. Another war to end all wars. Well, the last one clearly wasn't enough for Germany. Hmm. We don't know what's going on. We can't really see. It doesn't look good. Let's speed things up a bit. So what are we building? We were going to build some destroyers, weren't we, I think? So let's have a look. What do we have in the way of destroyers? We've got 1940 class, Benson and Gleaves class. Let's have a look, see what they're armed with. These look quite suitable. They actually have, they actually have sonar. Let's add, we've got the escort fleet. Yep, let's put those in the, naval, the Brooklyn Naval Yard. And do we have better... No, we don't. Okay, we don't have better ones than that yet. But that's fine. It's got guns, it's got depth charges. It's got everything you could hope for to go and um, defend a fleet. With a possible exception of radar, which we... Which we can't put in yet, so that's that's fine. That will fine. Let's let's do those. The Benson. Uh, we'll use the escort fleet. Let's put them up above all these repair priorities. And they're on repairs, Ellie. So we'll we'll go like that. And we'll have them sit, um, gathering in Texas. Okay. So we're off. So we ha we have a plan there. We're refitting the fleet. We're tidying it up. We're getting rid of the old out-of-date stuff. Everything from now on, I mean, 1936 and forwards is, is quite usable in the game. It's just the early stuff is, is relatively poor. We could build a fleet of mine destroyers. I think that might be fun. Belgium has capitulated. And Luxembourg joined the Allies. Luxembourg has capitulated. Representative speaks passionately in support of the government. 
Asked about her stance on a number of policy issues at a fundraising dinner, a representative spoke out in support of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's policies. She further claimed that many of her fellow representatives have similar views. She's right, you know. Excellent, so that gives us a bit more support. Luxembourg has capitulated. These swing up and down so fast, don't they? So research grants, for 90 days we get 8% research speed. Oh, but uh, the, the senators and representatives don't like research? Wow, okay. Amend the budget. That affects consumer goods factories. Pay farm subsidies, which is always popular. I think, oh, we cost us consumer goods factories. I think we can allow, afford some of those. I don't think that's a problem. Special measures. Um, I'm just going to keep ticking on the small lobbying effort. I remember, I don't know if it's still a thing, but when I played last time, Senator to speak out against the government, okay. Uh, like, governors would come and ask you to, um, to like, build factories and stuff for them in their, in their states. And if you did so, they might be able to swing a bit of support for you. Uh, I'm assuming that's still a thing. So we could go for... Oh, what's the giant wakes? This will add civilian economy. Um, I mean, we, we have support. Or we have the support needed. We're, we're going from... What the hell are we on at the moment? We're on isolation. Oh, okay. I, I think that's probably a good thing. However, we can do the Lend-Lease Act, right? What does this do? Uh, passing the Neutrality Act will drastically increase the requirement to pass the Lend-Lease Act. Right. What does this do? Requires this. It doesn't actually tell me what it does. I think it's what we want to do. Maybe. We can maybe hold off. Military construction... That adds... Oh, it adds a load of infrastructure? Oh, I, I think that's a good idea. Let's go for that. Let's, let's, let's say, I mean, it's, it's 1939. We don't need to get too ahead of ourselves. The war's going to be over by Christmas. No need for a Lend-Lease Act. Soviet Union declared war on Finland? Oh my god, it's, it's all kicking off. The fall of Cairo? Oh, that is a significant development. The fall of Paris... And France has capitulated. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Right, it's kicking off. It's all kicking off, Prue. Um, let's see how the USSR gets on. Uh, but this, this was, um, this is a thing. <laughs> okay. The fall of Cairo is really bad for the UK and the Mediterranean. Oh, they still have Gibraltar, though. So that's a thing. Right, so it's, it's not too bad. They might get it back. But... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen down there. We shall see. It's interesting, isn't it? It's exciting, folks. So we have some military factories. What we're going to do is start building trucks. Good old American trucks. The cornerstone of the American community. Everyone has a truck with a gun in it. We got, we got factories for that. I probably don't need two trains. I will have two trucks. Uh, let's see. Do I... I still have some more factories. What shall we build? We've got carrier fighters. We've got one factory on those. Okay. That's quite poor. We do need carrier bombers. We have naval bombers. We have carrier naval bombers, which we should absolutely have. I love... Oh, hang on. Range focus aircraft, Lockheed, naval... We'll go for the naval aircraft designer. The Grumman. Is that down the bottom? This is for our own purposes, of course. We're not going to war. So we'll just put... Uh... Oh, wow. I've got so many things in here. There we go. We needed that. We don't really have anything else going on aircraft-wise. So perhaps we should have... We should have something. We should definitely have transport planes. And they'll be on range focus, I, would, I suspect. We've still got these. What else can we build? Carrier fighters, P-40 Warhawk, regular fighters. Range focused, Lockheed aircraft. I don't know which is the best one to go for these. Uh, can I have a look at the details? We've got anything giving it agility. This looks like medium. Okay, I don't think these are the ones. North American. Oh, well, it's I've, I've put them in. Whatever's going in there, it's, it's now them. So these are... 
These are interesting aircraft. We have some in reserve because I disbanded the Air Force, largely. What we would like to do also is I'm just going to edit this. So these are going to be garrison brigades. These are our Coast Guards, basically. Let's make sure there's enough infantry in there. And engineers and artillery. There we go. And that's going to be stuff that defends all our coasts. 10 width is absolutely fine. Um, so anyway, I'm going to make it 6 width because these are also used to defend defend the areas on our islands as well. So there we go. It's our new model defensive template for the coasts. And then we find the death of Rudolf Hess. What was he doing flying over to the UK anyway? The world shall never quite know. Yeah, this is a this is an interesting development though. Did Italy do this with By Blood Alone installed? I I don't know. But then the the UK armies once have sorted this mess out, and they will. They're gonna be coming up there. But this is a supply desert, so it, it might not work out so well. Wow, civilian factories already. Let's get some more infrastructure going, please.